All right, so now we are done with the teaching part, the theory part. Now we're gonna actually start building our momentum up, okay? So, I uh, fuck, I forgot I uninstalled it. Momentum, there we go. And what we're gonna start doing is going to be very simple, and it's going to be the clock. We're not gonna do this good afternoon thing and whatever, um, because it doesn't show up on the, um, on the um, actual application. Yeah, I think it shows up good afternoon and your name. So what we're gonna do now, first things first, is we're gonna do the clock, okay? And I'm not gonna do the CSS here, not because, I mean, it's not because, it's just because you don't need it. You already know CSS, so we're not gonna waste anybody's time. It's gonna look kinda ugly, and I'm gonna show you like when I make progress with the CSS, okay? But for now, let's just focus on making the clock, okay? And this will teach us some other stuff. So, what I'm going to do is actually, I'm gonna go to index here, and I'm gonna come to, let's do here, let's just make it very simple. I'm gonna make script src clock.js. I like always to divide and conquer, that's how I work, divide and conquer. So I'm gonna make this thing clock, clock.js, all right, and the index, there we go. Okay, now in clock, what I'm gonna do is always, I always do the same thing, I create a function in it, all right, and I, here I do all my setup and then I do in it, okay? Now, what I wanna do here is I wanna create some uh, a div or something like that, div class, and this is something that I, ha I haven't gave you before, and what I didn't show you before is how I actually work with class names in HTML and JavaScript. I don't usually do this, for example, clock. Oh, sorry. I don't usually do clock like that because it's just, um, I like to keep the class names like this for CSS. And when I wanna touch the classes to, with JavaScript, I like to do this. So I know that this is a class that I put there that I'm gonna use with JavaScript. This is just like, a good practice of mine that maybe you wanna follow, okay? So here, what we're gonna do is do const clock container, all right? And we're gonna do document, as document query selector, and this will find a class name with JS clock, okay? But also, I wanna do const clock uh, title, okay? And in this case, I don't wanna look from the document. Like you know, query selector looks for children of the element. In this case, I wanna look for children of the clock. This means of the JS clock. This means I am gonna do this, and I'm gonna do h1 class JS title, okay? Or you can just put, you can just do this if you want that it's also possible, okay? And this thing, let's make it zero, 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 okay? And our clock title is going to be clock container dot query selector h1. Yep, h1. Now, what we're doing here is that we are declaring two constants. If you want to, what we can do that will make it look more cleaner is going to be this comma, and then we just, that's it. We just leave it at there, okay? Clock title, clock container. Perfect, okay? So now, what we need to do here is, first of all, we need to get, going to get the current date. And to get the current date, we're going to use the console because I want you to see how it looks like. What we wanna do is create a const, and I'm gonna say date equals fuck new date, okay? And I say date, and it gives me month, October, blah, 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 blah. All right, now I can say date dot get month, for example, or get, get, get my day first. First means here, Monday, okay? It's not like day like 28 or whatever. Get date, 
29 all right 29 let me put this up a little bit for the subtitles okay all right now what i want to do is i want to say date dot get in this case we want to get hours so how what hour is it it's one that is correct 13 and also we want to get minutes 44 and instead you can see here 1344 in this case now 1344 is still 44 let's see if it doesn't work i don't know why didn't it change i have no clue okay oh because it was a de the date over there okay makes sense because it's the date here and this date i created this date the, the 44 okay that's why so that's why it's not updating the minutes because this date was created right here so it's getting the minutes of this date not the current date okay so what we need to do first is load the clock with the current time so i'm going to make a function here and i'm going to call this function um get time i don't know whatever get time i am not the most creative one okay so what i'm going to do is almost the same thing i do here const date equals new date okay in this case date is a class this thing we're not going to see on this course we got a uh, different um full stack javascript course coming up soon or it's already on the platform so you can go check it out and this one is going to teach you all this stuff for javascript that you don't know and this not it's not about react it's not about anything this one it's all about like hardcore javascript for like zero from zero to hero basically this one is just a basics one so that's why we're not going to explain this thing just imagine that it's an object just imagine that it's an object okay now i'm going to say oh, what happened i just killed my vs code what a genius okay now here what we do is we come back and we say const let's say minutes equals date dot and we already we already did it here that's what i like of doing stuff with the console that you actually you can just do it and it's interactive okay so minutes we're gonna say dot get minutes okay and hours we're gonna say date dot get hours all right and now what we need to do is clock title we need to put that information over here so let's do it let's say clock title and let's put inner text this means text inside of the object and we're going to make the strings that i use these ones not these ones and not these ones when i use the back ticks yes and we're going to say um fuck me hours two dots and then minutes awesome all right let's try to check it out so if you come here it will refresh zero zero and of course i didn't call get time i need to call it here always divide and conquer always okay there you go so it's working now you know what i want to show you that it's getting updated because i'm going to put here seconds okay so you can see they dot get seconds and here we're going to do dots seconds okay all right now if i refresh as you can see it's working it's working but i have to refresh and this is not what i want because what I want is to get the date and then get it again and then get it again and then get it again. And for this, we are going to pause one second and we're gonna come here and we're gonna see something called get interval, set interval, this thing. But this video is too long and I love my translators. So as a thank you, I'm gonna stop here and I will see you on the next video where we're gonna finish the clock and we are going to actually update it every second so we can see it on real time. So thank you for watching and see you soon.